I put Static Shot Presets for Mevo Multicam on my list of videos to produce in August of 2021. We finally got it. It is the most recent change and upgrade. And let me walk you through a few of the things we get out of Static Shot Presets in the Mevo Multicam app. I have a couple of Mevo starts here for us to look at to begin with. We'll look at how this acts with an NDI camera in just a moment. But to start with, let's see in our camera view, if I tap on the ellipsis for this camera that is now active, it's going to give me the option for image control and it loads image control for this camera, but it also loads image control for any other camera that is attached to multicam at this time. This is the one that is active because I have the preview window here. And you'll notice that I've already set up several static shots here. I have four options for different camera views from this one side mounted camera at my church. It's going to give me my side view of everything that's happening on the platform. Since Multicam released static shot presets, now I have the option of punching in in that same view to just the pulpit or just the piano from across the platform. There's almost always someone standing in this location when worship is happening. And so I can catch my worship team in a little bit different view there. And when we have our children's message once a month, we have this shot. If I look at the other camera, now this is not one that I ever use for my worship stream, but you can see that I have uh, two static shots here. And of course, you always have the wide view. Notice that my preview window isn't changing. One thing that will come eventually from the team at Mevo is going to be the ability to change your program output from this image adjustment settings place. It's just too convenient to be able to choose which camera I have, set my preset, and go ahead and have a, a top-loaded program button that will send that view to the program. As of now, we still have to press done and then go back in and change once we've chosen our other shot. But for me to change a shot again, I have to go back into image settings. Either, uh, either camera will work. If you find this video informative, educational, or even entertaining, would you mind smashing that like button? It's the best way I've found to let YouTube know to tell me to keep creating content like this. So for me to go from that view to maybe a, a half zoomed in view, I can tap and hold on this one. And I have those same settings from Mevo Single Cam, where I can go quick, fast transition, I can go slow, or I can just cut to it. Nice, smooth, slow transition halfway in. We'll go fast on this one, so you can see the difference. Just a quick jump into that shot. Of course, cut just cuts, and then you have your full screen that you can go back to as well. Let's look at what happens whenever we do this with an NDI camera. I have a couple of PTZ cams here on my network. So let's look at NDI inputs. Obviously, this is in the Mevo Pro, so you have to have the subscription for this to work. But NDI cameras, I have two. One is my Tail Air. It's a mobile live streaming camera. The other is my Zowie Cam, and it is a permanent mount. So we'll connect both of those. And now I have all four in view. And when I choose, let's see, this is my permanent mount camera. Image control in this one. I still have the option of doing all of the cameras that are attached. I can make my changes to any of them. I just can't do program for it yet. We'll get there. I know that we will. So I have four presets in an NDI. In, in the Mevo Starts, I'm going to get the option of seven, up to seven presets. So I could throw another one up here. New static shot. Just tap and hold anywhere on the screen, and it's going to give you that little square that's, that's for a new static shot. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I should be able to squeeze one more in here somewhere. How about down here? There it is. Seven static shots. That's a lot to cram into the space that Amiibo Start will give you, but you can see all seven there. So let's jump back into our NDI camera. Four presets. Preset one will change me to whoever's playing over there. Preset two is going to bring me back into our announcements time. Preset three will be full stage worship. Preset four will give us the entire congregation. It's a pretty good set, 
But if I'm here and I had rather move over to the piano, zoom in a little bit, scooch over just a little bit more, I can set that as three just by tapping and holding on three. So now when I go to two, it goes back to that announcement time. And when I go to three, it jumps back to just the piano. My streaming tech on Sunday will be mad because I've changed his presets up. That's okay. Slip, we'll flip over to the tail air. And I tell you what, tail air, now we'll be able to see in that preview window what changes. Once again, four presets. Preset one. Don't know where these presets are from. That This camera hasn't been in the church very often, so these are presets from somewhere else. Nice picture of the stained glass coming through. Preset 2, preset 3, preset 4. Now, if I don't like preset 4, again, I have the ability to move this around wherever I want to. It's pretty quick. Um, relying on this as my control, my only control. Uh, it would take me a minute to uh, to get things set up, but I could zoom where I wanted to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll call that good. We'll call that preset three. Tap and hold. Now, two is stained glass, and three is going to be what we just made. Static shot presets in Mevo Multicam. Thrilled to get them fired up that they've brought us this piece of the puzzle. It's going to go great for your worship streams. It's going to be fantastic for your sports streams. And it works not just for Mevo Starts, but it also works for our NDI inputs. Great news from the Mevo team.